So we're here today at Evolution, and this is Barry. And Barry, thanks for getting me here today. Really do appreciate it. A pleasure. Welcome to Evolution Australia, Chris. Thank you. Um, so look, you guys do a lot of different things, and we'll, we'll take a look around very, very soon. Yeah. Um, so how did you guys start out? So 2015, um, since then we've been Australia's leaders in in-home charging stations, and that's where we really started for electric vehicles. Obviously you buy uh, a new Tesla or something similar, um, that'll come with its just plug into the wall charger, uh, but we uh, have in-home chargers that have more power, more wattage there, so we can get a faster charge, get your full range out of your vehicle. Um, so that was the first thing, but after then expanding into a lot of public charging stations, uh, commercial ones, so when you are on the drive and you pull up, charging your electric vehicle along the way. They're often ones that we've installed or they've purchased those units off us. Uh, but around 2019, we started the Electric Car Cafe and that's the more glamorous side of the business. And what we'll show you around some of the vehicles we've got in our shop here in Melbourne. I think I can vaguely recall this and and again, you'll see it soon, I promise. Um, that four wheel drive over there, that was like on that? Facebook and stuff, yeah? Yeah, that's where a lot of people come along across the Electric Car Cafe. You'll find us there on Facebook. We've got a dedicated website that we might pop below in one of those links so people can have a look at some of the kits that we do. Yep. But jump on and look up Electric Car Cafe on YouTube as well, where we can actually walk you through some more of what goes on in those builds, not just the, the finished product, um, but that's where the people who are interested in electric vehicles and conversions, um, we sort of specialise in pre-1996 um, vehicles that we can bring back to life. And that really, not only is it great for the environment, converting those old ICE cars to electric, um, it's great on the bank balance when you're paying so much less for your fuel. Yeah. Um, but perhaps more importantly than that, it's about the drive experience, how beautiful it is, if you've driven a Tesla or similar and you know how amazing that feeling is and then some of these vehicles we've got around here and you're getting that same experience, mm. that's where we really take it to the next level with the electric vehicles. Absolutely. Well, I reckon let's have a look around because I'm so excited to show them. You know what they're going to be up after? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, go and we'll go and take a look. Let's go have a look. Cheers. Of all the cars in the workshop, this one has got my heart racing. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the kind of car that we get a lot of requests about. The older, sportier vehicles, mm -hmm. the motors in there are never gonna last you forever. Um, so if we can update them to electric, extend that lifetime, you're gonna have next to no upkeep and maintenance on that once we're done with it. Yeah. Um, and just absolutely beautiful to drive. Oh. Absolutely. And look, uh, we'll get to like the battery and kilowatts in a moment, yeah. but do you, do you keep the gearbox? Is, is this, you're still going to shift gears? We, we can do it either way. Um, so you can have a gearbox in there and still have that motion if you like, yeah. or just run them completely clean as they are. Right. Uh, that would be a hilarious, <laughs> hilarious fun, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I could imagine. So um, in this uh, beautiful Roadster, um, what size battery is it? Uh, so the battery in this is a 26 uh, kilowatt hour battery yeah. um, running Tesla cells in there um, and then 7 kilowatt charger. Wow, that, that's a really beefy charger. That's, yeah. that's going to enable a very fast charge. Yeah, we do the ones that we sell through Evolution Australia um, up to 22 kilowatts home charging. Yeah. Um, so we've got the best in the business mm -hmm. and the, the chargers that we sell off the wall um, Ideally these days, we're looking to use a lot of people with, almost all people mm. these days with electric cars, yeah. um, have solar on top. So um, the unit that, that we're selling there, the Zappi, yeah. is really utilizing electric power yeah. to charge that and optimizing, so you're getting that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, any of those chargers will run these sorts of machines as well. Fantastic. So um, what range would you get from this thing, you, you reckon? So this is one that we're just going through those testing phases at the moment. Pretty much all done, mm -hmm. just making sure everything's optimised. Uh, and we're getting sort of 150 to 200 kilometres out of that, depending on how hard you want to ride it, because <laughs> um, I wouldn't blame you if you did. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, again, that depends on the size of space we have for those uh, battery cells, yeah. how many you want to put in. Right. Um, and again, that's completely up to the customer so they can build it for the purpose that they're looking for. Fantastic, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. beautiful and to be you know, mate, if 
I'll, I'll take it away today. Is that okay? <laughs> if, if, you, if you got the price for it, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll call up old mate and you can discuss. Sure. <laughs> okay, beautiful. <laughs> This looks fun. This is fun. <laughs> yes. Now, after the, the sporty cars, the other cars that people really want to try and make last forever are the Rovers and the Cruisers. Yeah. So this is an HJ45 Land Cruiser. Um, and this one is pretty much done. So this is what I'm thinking. We might get you in a minute to hop in and take a little ride for yourself. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my gosh. So all right, give us the specs. What, what, so, what are the numbers? So a Hyper 9 motor, 100 kilowatts, and also a matching battery that gives us 100 kilowatt hours. My gosh, 100 kilowatt hour battery. Absolutely. <laughs> so I guess that's that large pack we're seeing at the back there, yeah? Yeah. That, that big boy on the back, yeah. that, that, that's where it all goes. Yeah. Again, like I say, with whatever our customers are after, yeah. it's fully customizable. So if you just want something that's a daily driver to work or to the holiday home, we can do that. Yeah. If you want something that can do the longer trips um, and you want four, four or 500 Ks, the battery cells aren't cheap, yeah. but you can get them. Got to say, it's because look, this thing's steel. It's made of steel. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> very heavy. And with the battery packs on there, yeah. we're heavier again. So you do want to have some decent cells in there yeah. when you're running a big boy like this, yeah. um, so we can get those decent distances. Can I, can I, let's, let's have a go. Let's get you in there, because until you feel it, you don't know what you've been missing out for. Sweet. So hop you in, take yeah. you for a little run, and then I've got a treat for you at the end with the vehicle that everyone wants to see. Fantastic. Let's go. Yeah. I've been given some instruction. The car is on, there's actually an aircon in here, so I'm going to leave it on because it's actually hot and sunny out there. Um, I'm going to start it in second gear. I don't need to fuss too much about the clutch, so I basically just let it out and uh, go. And then I move to third gear. I'm going to second and third. And I just had to look at the diagram to understand which gear to whack it into. Um, so here we go. Oh yeah, I feel that. Alright, now the guys have told me this is going to feel much like what the diesel felt like and can I just say straight away well there it goes where am I going? gonna go up there alright I'm going All right, let me adjust the mirror the seat is not adjustable and I feel like I've got the steering wheel right in my lap in fact I do uh, and, and I'm having flashbacks. Maybe as a kid I went in one of these. I'm not very sure. But it, uh, it feels very... Oh, how can I describe this? It feels old. And it sounds like it's actually a petrol engine. I'll turn, I'll turn the fan off. I think um, we're hearing the gearbox. That that's like gearbox sound, isn't it? And yeah, because nothing is adjustable. I've got my pedals right on there. All right, now then. But then when we come to a complete stop, it's actually quiet. All right, be very careful. <laughs> Alright, it's trying to find the reverse gear. There it is. Well, visibility is good. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. We're in second gear. Oh, this is a three point turn, folks. Three point turn. Oy. So. <laughs> The experience is so old school, it's, oh my gosh, I, I can't imagine how people <laughs> used, used to like doing this. This is nostalgia. The, the, I'm, getting, I'm getting used to the idea of the clutch now, basically, um, it's just a change of gear. But there's no, there's no, um, I don't know, I, don't, I can't describe it. You just, uh, you put it in the second, you can take your foot all the way out and you just press go on the um, accelerator. 
it's the most peculiar feeling. I think for people who really want that experience of a um, of changing gears, th this this will work for you. And and you see the smile. I, I, I'm smiling because I think that people who want to keep a bit of history, want to preserve their favorite car, um, they can they can do it with these guys. You know, with with, with, with they, they can do it with evolution, and that's worthy of celebrating. The change in the face of um, transportation, and by taking something that used to be probably really polluting, um, massive gas guzzler, it is now an electric marvel. I mean, hundred kilowatt hour battery pack. I, it, it boggles my brain. It, it really does. That was cool fun. Like I said, it was like a bit of nostalgia. Um, the clutch didn't matter. It was just that you put it into second gear and then accelerator behaved like any electric motor would. And then if you wanted to go to third, yeah, you need to put the clutch in to be able to change the gear to third gear and then you just go again. And the guys from Evolution said that um, it, it's going to feel exactly like what the engine diesel experience was like. So if that's what you're after, you, you can have some fun with this. Every day, supposedly when um, uh, you know someone's uh, wanting to take one of these cars home and they've got heaps of choice here. I mean, look what they've got. <laughs> they all fight for this one. And uh, I can understand why. I've saved the best for last. Uh -huh. And can you, can you tell me, it's obviously a DeLorean. Yeah, Marty McFly's himself. <laughs> yeah. And uh, how long's it been in the, in the garage? Uh, generally, we try and turn vehicles around in about four months. It does depend. Every single build is custom. So it depends what sort of motors, what sort of batteries, what sort of range you put in. Yeah. That's about what we try and make our turnaround time faster where we can. Yeah. Uh, but on average, probably about four months. Yeah, fair enough. And what I'm appreciating is that, you know, as you say, every car is bespoke and it's unique. So, so what are some of the, um, like, what, what size batteries in this thing? Uh, so 40 kilowatt hour batteries, mm -hmm. that's giving us about a 250 kilometre range. And as far as the motor, we have a 300 kilowatt Tesla small drive unit in there. Wow. Um, so pretty good stuff, yeah. <laughs> that will definitely go. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. And um, look, at the moment, you know, it's obviously uh, in, in the shop and it's getting work on. Um, Who's the lucky person going to have it? Will, will we see it in Victoria or where? Uh, this one is staying in Victoria, yes, but we do builds not only all around Australia. Um, the Cruiser, we're sending back to WA, uh, but even the MG uh, that we were looking at, that one's going all the way to Canada. Somebody who bought it here, had it sitting in the... Uh, um, Yes, sitting in the shed, yeah. knew that was what they wanted. They've moved to Canada and they've still preferred us to do it here. Once they've found us, we'll complete it and ship it straight over there ourselves. Unbelievable. That, that's mighty impressive. And look, yeah. that says a lot about your business. So people is, yeah. can trust you with this. And yeah, just for that to get all the way over there, like amazing. Yeah. So if, if you want something done, we're, we'll, we'll make it happen. Um, not always the cheapest, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of people prefer just to buy something off the shelf. Sure. But if you've got something older that yeah. you are trying to extend the life of, and as I was saying earlier, given you drive experience too, yeah. not only do you save money down the road in what you're paying on power compared mm -hmm. to some of those old guzzlers, yeah. um, but the drive experience is what we're really looking to give to the customer. All right, Barry, that was really awesome. I really enjoyed my day here today, so thank you so much. And thank you for coming in and taking the time to check out what we do. Yeah, no, I really loved it. Like, you know, the impressive collection here and, you know, that's all fun and stuff. And that's that. quite varied, hey? Like, yeah. obviously, any pre-96 vehicles, we can do those conversions. Yeah. So if, if any of your, um, your viewers have any questions or any interest, Get them to get in touch. Sure, sure. And also, you know, the uh, evolution, you know, not just the electric car cafe, you know, you guys do the in home chargers. And Absolutely. This yeah. is the, the, the glamorous side of what we do. Yeah. But for a lot of people watching, interested in electric vehicles, mm. 
Um, you've met, perhaps bought your first electric car and realised that the supplied charger is reasonably slow. Yeah. Um, all the in-home wall chargers that we do can do that a lot faster, utilise the solar a lot better. Yeah. That's a large part of what we do as a business. So look up Evolution Australia, give us a call anytime if you've got any questions, um, please get in touch. Yeah, beautiful, excellent. So I'll leave a link down below and uh, thanks so much yeah. for your time. And you, all the best, we'll Thank catch you. you again soon, I hope.